everybody. Welcome back to Clutch Situation. This seemed like a good couple of days to do back-to-back -back videos. And so today I'm going to bust out this Blick Premier mechanical pencil. Blick has apparently gotten into their own mechanical pencil market here, so to speak. And, you know, I, I looked at this thing and I saw all metal construction with a knurled grip with a retractable lead sleeve. And if we turn to the back here, you know, it lists all the features that are present here. Uh, and it's manufactured in Japan, um, includes two HB LEDs. Okay. I guess that might be our only compromise, but you know, we're going to break this open right now and see what's, what's going on here. This was recommended to me via email by, by a viewer of the channel. And I do read emails that people send to me. Um, and immediately, you know, knew that it was, it was something that I was interested in. It was a couple weeks ago, I want to say, and you know, I'm not always in a position where I can get out to a Blick art store, but I recently got out to a Blick art store and here's our result. Okay. So we have a knurled grip. It's not a very significant knurling. Okay. Um, I can feel it with my hand. Okay. <laughs> but just barely, um, I might equate it to like, perhaps a step down. Let's see here. I'd equate it as like a step down from the new Pentel Arends metal grip. Okay. This is slightly more grippy than that. Um, is it better than a punch in the face? Probably. Okay. All metal construction feels pretty weighty to me. Honestly, we have a pocket clip here, pretty basic pocket clip for a pencil of this manufacturer, but you know, we'll discuss the price of this because I think that that might be the real area where people are going to be interested in it. We have a lead hardness indicator that goes from 2B to 4H, and there's quite a bit of resistance on this. And that's a feature that I like. Not only do we have knurling on the lead hardness indicator, but there's a lot of resistance here. There are a lot of lead hardness indicators out there that just spin around, okay? And you can't really do a good job of keeping the hardness really locked into the window of a lot of lead hardness indicators. And so that's something that I like right off the bat. Let's check out the eraser situation, okay? Non-choking eraser cap, good, metal. Eraser dock wobble, not a ton, pretty typical that I'd say. And then we pull this out and we have what looks to me to very much be an, an imitation of a typical maybe pilot eraser. You know, I, I don't know what the actual provenance is of this, but it reminds me of a pilot eraser. And I wouldn't be surprised if I got out some replacement pilot erasers and found that they were pretty similar. Okay, let's get to the actual clicky dealy now. Because, you know, we like clicky dealy. So this is interesting in that like the uh, Alvin uh, retrack, okay, the Alvin uh, draftmatic retrack, or like the Rotring Ring 800, Okay, we have a click to extend pipe. Okay, I'm not feeling a ton of wobble with it, which is something, I mean, there's a little bit. It's moderately impossible to do this without having a little bit of smidge of wobble, but I mean, we'll really know when I start writing with it. Okay, this is uh, 0.7. I don't know if it comes in other lead sizes. Uh, I think it might come in 0.5 too. Okay, let's do a click test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the clicking here is sensitive to the normal double click that you would have with retraction. So I'm going to do that again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you press too hard, you'll get the actual mechanism itself wiggling. Quite a bit of precision here. We're looking at probably about uh, six, seven millimeters, which would be typical for a good uh, mechanism. Uh, I'm not going to take this one apart, folks, because 
well, maybe not too much. I'm a little worried about breaking it if I take it apart because of the retraction mechanism, but let's just try right here and see what happens. So we have metal threads, a great sign, and, oh, great. By taking this apart, we see that it does indeed, well, no, that's, ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. This is what we need. Okay, we're going to unscrew here spring loaded and a brass clutch okay so we like to see that i don't like to see plastic threads here but you know what are you going to do especially at this price point okay that's coming up here in a little bit so i took it apart without breaking it yay <laughs> always a concern of mine okay metal threads though on the outer portion There we go. Okay, let's do some writing with it. All right, so this is the Blick Premier and Premier with no E at the end, FYI. Okay. Mechanical pencil. Okay, despite what I said about the knurling, Feels really good to write with it. And I know there's some of you in the audience who are like, consistency, consistency. There's lots of things that go into a rating scale. My personal rating scale, I'd like to point out. This is just how I feel when I'm writing it for these sorts of things. And I'm actually surprised here because as you saw, my gut instinct on the knurling was that it was a softer knurling. Maybe it's the balance of this instrument. Let's check the balance. Okay. Balance. I'm a little shaky right now because I'm many coffees in. Okay. So balance is about a little, little point word from the center point. So maybe it's the overall weighting of this that even though the knurling is not as pronounced as some other mechanical pencils, I... I'm getting a really positive vibe off this, just writing with it right here. Quality, features, cost. And so we'll also start working here on our pros and cons. Okay, let's do a little bit of erasing. Ooh, while extended, the eraser is really well docked in. Okay, and the eraser is of a good compound. All right. So writing experience, I like it. Okay. Um, it's a combination of a bunch of things. Here's another interesting feature. There are little accents on the pocket clip. You know, it is a bare bones pocket clip, but, you know, these nice little hash marks here sort of give it a feel and a class there okay quality great of course we probably have to put it through its paces but handling the instrument it feels like a solidly put together instrument okay so pros right off the bat we have great eraser performance It's a very silent click too, which, you know, some of you may prefer a louder click. Some of you may prefer a silent click. I don't know. So great eraser performance in all situations. Okay. Both the dock and the compound. We have a retractable lead sleeve with a brass clutch the grip is knurled I'm also going to put it down here in the cons because it is a really soft knurling as described the weight of the instrument feels really good to me 
feels kind of like it's an extension of my hand while I'm holding it, which I think is always a good first impression for a mechanical pencil. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is really a, a, a con basic pocket clip, but you know, maybe, it, maybe up here, I want to also throw up here, you know, I would call this elegant aesthetics. I think that this bridges the line between a really technical drafting pencil and a cool looking writing instrument. There's kind of like a brushed aluminum character to this upper part of the body right here. And it probably doesn't show up on camera, but it's, it's almost leaning just a little bit towards like either a graphite or a very subtle rose gold. I don't know. But um, we also have a knurled lead hardness indicator. Okay. Uh, with, what should I do here? I guess I'll call it limited rotation. I don't like my lead hardness indicator spinning freely. Okay. Um, maybe another con is minuscule wobble in lead sleeve. But I mean, I think it's unavoidable to some extent under these circumstances from a mechanical perspective. I'm not an engineer, okay? But I've played with enough mechanical pencils, I think, to, to see that there's a distinct difference between different uh, lead configurations, lead, lead sleeve configurations, I should say. Let me see if I can bust out an 800 here. Hold on. Got it. Okay. So here's an, here's an 800. I think there actually might be slightly more wobble in the 800. Okay. As compared to this one, slight difference. So if the 800 bothers you, maybe this one won't, but I'm not you. Okay. And as a hobbyist, you know, it's, it's never predictable what people in various hobbies are going to like and what they're going to dislike. So features here, we are superb. Get this. Okay. 13 USD. Okay. You can get it in stores and online. And I think that if you purchased online and paid shipping with this, it would still be an awesome value. In fact, I may go back to the store, honestly, and pick up the 0.5 millimeter version of this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that, actually. So, heck, let's just go ahead and get a head start on next year. This sucker is going into the top 15, for sure. This pencil is, frankly, shocking for its price. I feel shocked. That's me being shocked. So yeah, I, I recommend that you check this out. This is a great recommendation. This is a spectacular mechanical pencil for the price. And it's honestly really hard to beat $13 for what you're getting with this. So yeah, chickity check it out, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm going to have some more awesome mechanical pencils coming at you on Clutch Situation. Have a great day.